Hello everybody, thanks for joining me again today for another Business of Trucking video. Today we're going to talk about a SCAC code. S-C-A-C. -C. It stands for Standard Carrier Alpha Code. What it is, it's a four letter code assigned to, uniquely assigned to each individual carrier to identify their company. Now it's not uncommon to, for companies to have more than one SCAC code. For instance, if you've pulled JB Hunt trailers, you may see ones with JBHU, some with JBHZ. They probably have half a dozen or more SCAC codes for different purposes. Now, do you need one? Do you have to have one? What would you need one for? How much does it cost? Where do you get one? So let's talk about those things for a minute. Where you would get a SCAC code is a company called the National Motor Freight Traffic Association, the NMFTA. Their, web, their website is nmfta.org. Now this is one of those things where you'll probably get a lot of junk mail from permitting agencies saying, hey, we can do your SCAT code for you for a fee of whatever, maybe a hundred bucks or, or right around there. No need to pay somebody to do this. It is extremely simple. And then every year you will get a renewal notice. Once you sign up, you're probably going to get all kinds of spam from these permitting companies representing themselves as the NF NMFTA, when they are not, you know how they try to fool you and they, they spam and junk mail the heck out of you. But you'll get a, an email or a letter in the mail that will look something like this. This is my renewal notice. You can see it up there. It came from the NMFTA. Okay, It is $79 for a year if you choose to have one. Now, it's not a bad idea to have one. What, what the SCAT code is, it was originally invented to bring trucking into the I guess you could say the digital era, right? To use it as a company identifier. Not that we don't have already enough identifying unique numbers, but customers will use your SCAT code in EDI transactions. Some use them for, for uh, payment systems. If you have a UIIA agreement with the railroad, so if you're going in and doing containers into, into these uh, rail yards, if you're doing uh, whatever kind of drayage work cross-border, you're going to need a SCAC code to get your PARS and PAPS stickers for crossing the border. Uh, a lot of government agencies need it. So if you ever want to haul for, say, FEMA or get a government contract, you're going to need a SCAC code. Uh, the, the petroleum companies and auto companies uh, use this when uh, they ship their products. So there's all kinds of good uses for it. It's relatively cheap. Sign up, renew it every year, and that's it. Now, if you forget to renew it, they can take that code and assign it to somebody else. They'll probably wait a while so that it doesn't get confused. But to keep it, you have to renew it every year. Once again, you can do that at the nmfta.org. That's National Motor Freight Traffic Association. And if you choose to, you can do it by, you can send this, you can fill this form out. There's a, a, another page to it. Fill that out, send it in by mail. There is an additional fee for that of a few bucks, but it's just, it's really quick and easy. If you've ever done your, your UCR, this is about as easy as that, folks. And uh, I've run into a couple situations where it's come in handy. For, for a lot of people, until if you had just one truck running broker freight or whatever, chances are you probably may or may not ever need it, but it's a handy thing to have. So everybody, thanks for watching today. If you like these kinds of videos, check out some of the videos on the screen now. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe so you don't miss a video. And we will see you all next time.